Guys, I have a special guest with me on this video, Nathan Payne. We're gonna sit down and we're gonna talk about how he's transitioning from just doing assignment wholesale deals into doing multiple types of other strategies that are really allowing him to scale and blow up his business. We're gonna talk specifically about a fix and flip deal that did 145,000 net profit. This is really good guys, because a lot of times you can limit yourself, you can be inside a box, and you wanna make sure that that does not happen so you continue to grow and progress. All of that and more coming up. Go to InvestorThrive.com right now to check out some of our free training on how you can make money as a real estate investor or schedule a time with me so we can chat about our mastermind mentorship and how we can help you learn how to wholesale nationwide and grow your business. Nathan, how awesome doing, to be Jared? here with you. Good. Thank you for taking time. You know, it's fun because I've gotten to really work with you and know you, but a lot of it's been on Zoom. Yeah, yeah. You know, isn't that amazing? I'm, I'm in Puerto Rico, you're in Utah, and we've been able to really do quite a bit of networking, and you've been helping me a lot with yeah. coaching on some of my um, mentoring program students, and so it's been fun to get to know you and watch your business grow. Appreciate it. You came through my coaching program a couple years ago, right. and you've just blown up the business, and I wanna talk about how you've been able to scale. Yeah, it's been awesome. And that's fun, mm -hmm. but, uh, but Nathan, as you've grown your wholesaling business, right before we started recording, you said it takes a team. It takes a team, Jerry. Yeah. I mean, I couldn't do, definitely not do this by myself, especially like the volume that, you know, we're doing monthly and yeah. the flips that we've started to do. I mean, because of you, I mean, we just looked at wholesaling as like, that's what we wanted to do, right? But now it's like, you know, flipping is, is the play. Yeah. I mean, right now, who knows what's gonna happen with the, the interest rates, but right now. Is, and that's the right way well. to think about it right now because what I love, Nathan, is you went from, like we just do assignments and that's our business model mm -hmm. and we're doing you know three, four, five a month and it's awesome. I don't think yeah. we've ever, we even did a flip. Right. Until that point. Which is normal, like I started out the same way, just mm -hmm. doing assignments. And I think I didn't touch a different type of deal for like two years, yeah. just assignments trying to do as many as I could a month. This is Metro Detroit, long time ago. And then I started to transition. And so watching you transition has been a lot of fun. But what I love about it is, in the conversations we have quite a bit are, mm. you don't wanna be a one trick pony. Not at all. In the business. And you wanna be careful too, that you don't limit yourself and have blinders on because mm. then you're you're missing other opportunities. Yeah, 100%. And so I like to, I like to say that I'm a real estate investor which means like a lot of things versus like a wholesaler right. or a fix and flipper or a landlord or whatever it might be. That, that's exactly what I took from your fast track. I mean, you said that if you just think you're a wholesaler, you're putting yourself in a box, right? Yes. And, and that's what I took from uh, the fast track is like, hey, we got to look at every deal and decide what is the mm -hmm. best uh, option, right? Yeah. And, and now when we look at deals, we analyze them for, you know, is this gonna be good to buy and hold? Is this gonna be a good Airbnb? Is it gonna be a good flip, fix and flip? I mean, all that, I mean, it helped us a ton to make more money. Yeah, I remember your first uh, wholetail, yeah, which did. was fun. We did a video, yeah. we'll put the link in the, in the description. If you don't know what wholetailing is, it's basically when you buy it, don't really do anything to it and just resell it. 100%. Buy yeah. at a discount, resell it, and you went from like, you know, what it would have been maybe a, who knows, 15, 20,000 normal wholesale deal exactly. doing an assignment and made 85, 80, 86. 85, 86, yeah. $86,000, really nothing, cool story. And really nothing to it. We yeah. just cleaned it out, paid about 200 bucks and, and just listed it. Yeah, you know? and, and why is that? Why will going on market with a deal you buy why why the spread there well right now inventory has been pretty mm -hmm. low so buyers in salt lake city utah they, they're going to buy something that maybe previously they wouldn't right yeah and, and, and that's that's why we're able to get the, the amount of money and and you, i think like when you give when you wholesale deal it's fine you know if it's quick cash uh but you kind of give up the spread that the flipper is going to make right yeah. so now we're like hey we don't really need the flipper let's just list this thing and it's been helping us tr tremendously isn't that amazing how like it used to be here's fully renovated here's wholesale, mm -hmm. and then there's all this room in here, in, right. the, in the market, right? Yeah. And now retail buyers are like creeping up, creeping up, creeping up, where the price they'll pay for an unrenovated home is not that far off sometimes. It's not, like maybe you can discount it like 10, 20,000, and they're like, hey, that's, get, that's cheaper than what like a flipped house, and I can yeah. do a little of the work myself. So it's, it's been helping us a lot. I mean, we just have one in Payson, you know Payson, mm -hmm. Utah, yep. where we, we bought it, and literally just carpeted and painted it. And now we're, we're, we're gonna do like another 80K wholesale yeah. deal. Awesome. It's crazy. So if you think about this, when you take it down, 
then it opens up a whole bunch of options, 100%. right? You mentioned a couple of them. But even with flipping, you can do nothing and just mm -hmm. resell. You can do a punch list, right. which sometimes is necessary because if you're going to retail it, there's probably a few things to fix. Exactly. You could um, do a super lipstick on a pig type carpet paint where mm -hmm. you're still not doing much. You're not doing new counters and new tile and all of that. Yeah. Or you can go to that next level and do kitchens and baths. Right. And right? We did do one that was a little higher end that we, we yeah. told you about where we made our biggest. It was our We're, first like real flip. One. It was yeah. our first like big one. Real so, one. Yeah. But then you can go all the way up to like complete redesigns where you're putting in, you know, headers and roofs and windows and big heavy rehabs. Right. Yeah. And anywhere in between. And so what's awesome is to do what you're doing where I you love it. You look at the deal and you're like, okay, what's our best exit? I love it because you, you put those numbers in. So it's, it's just a math calculation pretty yeah. much on the calculator. You're like, okay, what would it be like if we put 50K into it or 100? What would the ARV, what, what yeah. could we get? And what if we put zero? And then you, you see those numbers and it's just like easy at mm -hmm. that point. You just make the best decision for, for the team. And sometimes it's not always go all the way mm -hmm. because there's time, energy, and effort when you do the right. big big part. The whole time, right? It could be, you know, go all the way. You might mm -hmm. hold it for five, six months, but a whole tail might be two two months, you know? Yeah. So. so you have to kind of look at where am I at in my business? Where am I at with deals? What kind of What kind of bandwidth do I have right now? And then make those decisions. But isn't it amazing? Isn't the business awesome when you have options? Oh, I love it. And the cool thing is like when you just wholesale, you're limiting yourself to that. And I feel like lower spread sometimes depends like how great your buyers are. But if you can do wholesaling to keep the cash flow coming yes. in while you flip, yeah. I think that's if you can leverage both, that's where the business starts exploding. If you're just wholesaling always, you're going to maybe, you're not going to make as much in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. You know, you got, in this business, you definitely with the, the marketing spend, you have to maximize every deal right now. I kind of like to look at it like this. So your fix and flips are like your get rich money because mm -hmm. you don't have a lot of control over when that thing's going to actually close and sell mm -hmm. a little bit, but right, like you kind of, you get a deal and maybe it's a four month rehab or whatever you're going to put up for sale, sell it. And so those are like these big paychecks that come sporadically. Right. Ideally it's you true. get that dialed in where they're every month, but you know, they kind of come and go, but they're these big spreads. Mm -hmm. But wholesaling is what I call your, your paycheck money. Keep the money coming It's in. your pay bills money. Yeah, for the marketing, because you, you don't want to stop your marketing if, yes. you, if you're marketing heavy. I mean, wh one thing that's really helped our business too is implementing what you've said is like networking. Um, uh, we call it organic marketing, but that's like working with agents. Because mm -hmm. if you can get deals without spending, that really helps your business be big consistent. Big time, yeah. So we've been doing a lot of those too. Yeah, that's awesome. So then you get those, those hits every month on the wholesale deals. Mm -hmm that pays your bills, pays your overhead, keeps your team going, yep. right? And, and then it, those big flips It can come. fund your, your payments on your big deals because mm -hmm. you got those, you got, you know, carrying costs. Oh, and sure. then you land that big deal yeah. and that big deal comes in and Everyone's it's that. Everyone's stoked. Yeah, <laughs> it's just amazing. Um, yeah. So let's talk about that. You did this fix and flip deal, broke over a hundred thousand, didn't it? Yeah, I think it was a hundred and forty-five thousand dollar profit. Right. The check was a hundred and ninety-seven, which we didn't make that obviously, you got expenses. Yeah. But when we got that check, we were like, this is awesome. This is cool. This is cool, yeah, for sure. So what was that like? You did you did a fix and flip. Let's talk the numbers high level. So your buy, we, rehab, and we got and it sell. at two seventy five. Okay. I think we put in like thirty, uh, twenty five so, to so thirty. So not that big a rehab. R really didn't because you know we were able to get. I feel like the the work we got was pretty reasonable. Yeah. Um, we put a brand new deck on the front. The deck was kind of falling off in the front. Mm -hmm. and we put a brand new deck, carpet, paint. Did redid the kitchen. Um, New cabinets or just counters or the what? cabinets are pretty okay. pretty new at that point. Just the countertops before were a little. Did you older. paint them? Paint the cabinets? Uh, we or didn't. No? Okay, just so, countertops. So it, I wouldn't say it was like this crazy rehab, but yeah. it was definitely more than we've ever done. Uh -huh. And um, yeah, and it, it it got more. We listed it for four ninety, and we got an offer at five fifteen. The house was built in nineteen. 11 mm -hmm. it was like so old house old house so they came back and they said hey there's some things it, cosmetically you guys did a good job but there were some issues so we gave them a little bit of a deal i think we ended up selling at 505 mm -hmm. but so 15k above list price and uh you couldn't yeah. ask for a better deal oh, though no no yeah and it was awesome and end to end how long did that deal take from buy to resell so this one was a little interesting because in order to get it the seller wanted to stay in it uh, mm. for a month after we close on it so we gave him a post possession okay. so we let him stay in there for a month he moved all his stuff out it had a lot of uh, trash so that took um, some time to clean it out but I think end to end maybe like three or four months 
Yeah, focus. so pretty fast. Yeah, it was pretty quick. Yeah. To make $145,000. Yeah, it was, it was pretty dang nice, yeah. So this is the lesson, guys. Don't, don't wholesale your home run deals. I guarantee you we would have made like less than half of 145 on our wholesale deal because they would have beat us up. Yeah. The sellers, uh, whole, the buyers, the flippers would have been like, look how trashy it is or mm -hmm. look at all this. But when the thing that's been awesome for us too is just cleaning it out yeah. almost gets you like 10 or 15K more um, just yeah. to get, make it look nice. So I have this strategy with, it works really good with on market where there's a seller and the seller's really messy yeah. and like a hoarder. And then the agent doesn't, really understand how to take good pictures. Yep. So bad lighting, crap everywhere. Ooh, people you are know, like, mm -mm. And, and so it just, it just looks terrible. And then you buy that, you get them out of there and you just go in there and clean it out and then take nice pictures with good lighting mm -hmm. and put it back up for sale. You didn't do anything. But it looks like a brand new house. And you sell for fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 more or whatever, yeah. you know. That's that's what we did with the Payson one. Like the old people were living in there, mm -hmm. but you know, so it was old furniture and it just looked yeah. nasty. We just moved it out, cleaned it. We did carpet and paint, but it looks like a brand new house now, you know? Yeah, I think the, the thing that limits people, and tell me if this was for you, it was for me, is when you're doing wholesaling, you're not really doing a whole lot of cash management. Like you are a little mm -hmm. bit on your marketing. Yeah. Cause you gotta constantly spend money on marketing, but nothing's, it's not nearly the same as carrying debt. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you start to carry debt, it brings on like a whole nother level of anxiety. It really does. <laughs> so, I mean, we've had to like, uh, man, I guess you could say man up and be like, Hey, yeah. this is the next <laughs> level. You know, we got to do it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, luckily, you know, raising the money to do it. We've the hard money lenders and you can find them anywhere, Yeah. but the private money, you know, I have a HELOC, a couple guys on my teams have HELOCs. We also have private money lenders that yeah. we're able to pull money from. So getting the money has been another step where back in the day, I wouldn't have felt as comfortable like asking people for money, but now I'm like, I know exactly, I run the numbers, I know, feel confident. Like I can ask people and be like, hey, this is going to sell, your money's protected. Yeah. You know, so it, that, there's that's good another, equity, it's a good deal. Exactly. Lend me the money. And so raising capital is has got to be a priority. And that, mm -hmm. that now, Nathan, will be like top priority for the rest of your career, right? Because you either you need more capital for bigger deals or more deals and you're always looking for cheaper money. Mm -hmm. So raising money just never ends now. Yeah. Cause yeah. even if you have really good money, you're going to want cheaper money. Just get it, get it as cheap as you can. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. learning how to raise money, making that a priority in your business is what's going to allow you to just continue to grow. And you know me, I'm, I'm all about margin. So like yeah. moving up in the price points, is where you start to get those spreads for sure and i told you this before but that your little packet and flipster yeah that i used that exactly to meet with some people and take them through it when i asked them for private money it was it was perfect so, yeah so um, thank you for that you're welcome yeah awesome. it's got kind of some of the tools oh, to yeah. the yeah. questions that are asked i was like they had a question I'll, let me check real quick with jerry <laughs> yeah and I, I read it, it was yeah nice. i'll put the link to that resource but uh, or for you sure. can go to you can go to getflipster.com to get, get flipster <laughs> But that's really awesome. So raising capital now is a is a part of your business. You, yeah. Like you said, what most people don't realize is, eighty to ninety percent of the money is really easy to get with oh. hard money. Oh, like that. If Diamond you have does. a deal, right, right. If they'll, it's they'll not a deal, it. it's a different story. But if you have a good deal, they'll give you that money. Some some lenders, if it's a great deal, they'll fund the whole thing. Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't and that even, crazy? even re the rehab costs. We've had one where mm -hmm. they're like, hey, we'll even give you rehab money. Because yeah. they they're, they feel so confident with the deal. So. Yeah, because your because your spreads are good, mm -hmm. your, your equity's good in it. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's exciting. So, do you have some new um, fix and flips on the horizon, or where's your mix right now? Well, still so, looking because because don't rush into them. Like make them make them home run deals. Right. Yeah. Well, we did a a creative uh, financing deal that's working right now where yeah. we worked out with the seller where he would he was a contractor. He just didn't have the money to fix it up. So I was like, hey, look, we'll give you some money down, put that towards the house, and we'll give you a higher asking price. You know, once you fix it up. So he, we got that going on in North awesome. Salt Lake. Yeah. But yeah, it's 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 exciting to know that like that's another exit strategy we can use. Cause as a wholesaler, when you first start, it, you're just a one trick pony. The amount of deals you can do is, is very limited. Mm -hmm. the, I mean, the people right now with Zillow and all the information on the internet, they, they literally just look at it and they're like, I want that price. Yeah. So like if you're going to get a wholesale deal and that's all you know how to do, you're, you're, their options are limited. I feel yeah. like yeah. I mean, compared to like flipping, creative financing, all that and stuff. And the assignment is the lowest pain technique yeah because right? you're, you're you have to add in the spread that the flipper wants to make so if you take that spread the flipper needs to make out of it there's more room there's way more room yeah and it's been really it's been awesome. good 
What would you say for somebody listening? I know you're doing quite a bit of coaching and helping people. What would you say for new investors would be the biggest thing to that you could tell them to do to either get that start mm-hmm. or maybe even transition out of assignments only, you know, into yeah. maybe some different types of deals? What, um, do you think's, what do you think's the thing that kind of holds people back? Well, what held us back was not feeling confident that we could do it and, and not knowing our numbers and maybe running the math and feeling like we could take on the risk. That was where I was at. But there, there came a point where I was like, look, all these flippers are making great money right now and we're giving them like those spreads to do it. Like we can do exactly what they're doing. We know how to go on Thumbtack or any of these like uh, sites right now and and hire a contractor, go on Facebook. So um, we just started doing it. But I would say for when I talk to students or or people that are new, just take action. Like you're not going to learn it from uh, just watching stuff. You're going to learn it from action. And that's how we've gotten to this point. We literally just did it, you know, and we could have failed, but you know, luckily we didn't. Yeah, I love that about you, Nathan, and your team, Corey, and your guys, because you guys are constantly trying to learn. Um, I've never seen someone who's who's takes education as serious as you do and mm-hmm. taking action. I appreciate it. And that's really what this is all about. Like, it's not just we're we're here at a conference. It's not just go learn some cool thing. Like, yeah. do it. Literally, I mean, I've been to conferences where it's like your mind gets blown and you go back and you're like. I don't know, yeah. I, I learned so much, but now when I go to conferences, like what's the one or two things I can implement from this conference, right? That I can do Monday when I get home. Yeah. And that's right. what I got from going to Fast Track. I mean, that's a long, it's like two days of this, like yeah. all this information. I was like, what can I learn from you know this experience? And, and the one thing you helped us out with a ton was me and Corey, we're business partners, right? And you said, sometimes a business partner's one plus one can equal one. Yeah. And that was us. We were yeah. one plus one equaling one, but now, it's like one plus one equals, I would say, 50 or 100. Yeah. Right? No, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm saying that might be too much, but we definitely, it's, we're doing You're our own leveraging thing. Leveraging your, your expertise. Yeah. yeah. So it's, I remember it's talking great. to you because like both of you would go on appointments sometimes or we whatever. Would, we yeah. drive to appointments together because yeah. we had fun. You know, we're, yeah. we're, we're, we're buddies. We went to college together and our team, we're all friends. So yeah. it's, uh, you know, sometimes, um, you know, we, we just like to hang out and, and mm-hmm. go on points, so, but... Definitely. really transitioning into a business where you're leveraging the people on your team to do way more than you're doing on your own. Yeah, and one last thing about that question, like what I tell new investors is learn the math. Like yeah. learn, learn how to crunch numbers because you can definitely, if the numbers make sense, you'll feel confident. But if you don't know how to r- run a really good ARV, know your rehab costs and where you need to get it, mm-hmm. you're, even the hard money, if you don't know how to do that stuff and feel confident, you're not gonna wanna flip. Right, but flippers they feel confident because they look at the, their numbers and they're like, okay, this this makes sense. And because you guys do nationwide, this is something you've learned really well. Yeah. You guys are really good at it. Yeah. In fact, you've helped a number of my students dispo their deals. You're yeah. always offering that. So guys, For sure. you know, leave a comment. Nathan will watch the comments too. But yeah. if you need help to dispo a deal, it doesn't matter where it's at. Nathan and his team, they'll get on that. They'll find you a buyer and they'll JV with you we on do. deals. We got we got nationwide buyers <laughs> lists. We've We've paid a lot of money in starting nationwide and going all over the country. We were buying buyers lists like crazy because we're like, we need to figure this out. So yeah. we got buyers everywhere and we work, we have a good process. Or you'll process. find a buyer. We'll find a buyer. Yeah, because yeah, you know how to find them. And, and really it takes, finding a buyer sometimes takes, it just takes a lot of effort. You got to make a lot of calls, a lot of texts, but we got the, we got the manpower. That's awesome. Yeah, we'll yep. help you out. And um, you're doing a YouTube channel now. Yeah. Putting out some great content. Love to see that. You know, uh, Jerry, we'll I'm put really, that below as I'm well. Re- I'm really just following your footsteps. I'm like, <laughs> what is my, what's Jerry doing? Okay, he's flipping. He's got the YouTube channel. I got to do it all. But that's, that's, that's awesome. The way. You got to learn yeah. from others that are doing things and just follow them. So. Love that. Thank you. Well, guys, make sure you follow Nathan. He is, him and his team are doing some cool things. And you've got your team with you. I brought my team. They don't, I don't ever leave the house without my team. <laughs> I don't leave anywhere without my team. I got to tell you, uh, Nathan, I love the the environment that you create. You I know, appreciate like, it. Yeah. Uh, my son works for you, mm-hmm. and and I've met you know Corey and some of your guys. But how do you create? What is it that you create there that's so special? I mean, I feel like they all have. It's not just like a job, but they care and they feel apart. So I, what are you doing there that's that's different? I don't know if this is correct, right? But I try to act like this isn't my, just me. This yeah. isn't my business. Like we're building something together. I'm trying to create something where like a lot of them might think like, oh, I'm just, other people might think I'm just working for someone, but I'm trying to create like a, a legacy for all of us, mm-hmm. right? Like let's build something where we're not just wholesaling. We're, we're fixing and flipping. Maybe we might go into commercial. Like let's build this together. And if any of them leave, right? Yeah. I'm not going to be upset. 
I'm gonna say, hey guys, like I, I'm glad you learned from you know what what I've what we have here. Go do your own thing, but I, I want them to uh, succeed. So that might be the environment where it's like, hey, this is us, not just me. Well, you know, it's interesting because if if you're a good visionary, Nathan, then the right people will see your vision and they're gonna to wanna to be a part of that. Mm-hmm. And so if you're sharing a vision of, hey guys, we're going places, oh, we're you, going. Want to, you want to attach to this train because it's going places. <laughs> I, I don't know when we'll get there, yeah. <laughs> but we're going somewhere. And people will feel that though. Yeah. They're, they're, yeah. People want to be part of something special. Yeah. And even if it's not special now, if they believe it's gonna be special, they'll help make it special. Yeah. They'll, build the, they'll do the work. And I think that's, 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 it hits the nail on the head. Like we're trying to build something special and um, I want them to be a part of it. Yeah. So. So you love your team and you brought your team and we want to show some love to your team. Show some love to the team. Let's bring them in here. Hey, come on team, guys. Come on in Let's here, come brothers. on in here. Get in the shot. We, uh, we, got an Air- <laughs> we got an Airbnb. We're all staying together. We're going to have some fun this weekend. Okay. Living legend. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> tell, tell us who everybody is, Nathan. All right, right here we got Corey Roysom, okay. business partner, went to college together. Uh-huh. Big uh, helper. He, he's the rock of the business. You know, sometimes this is my, um, this is me. I'm like yeah. the roller coaster. I'm up highs and lows. I asked Corey, I'm like, Corey, are you worried about this? He's like, yeah. I ain't never worried. We got to keep it going. He's, <laughs> we call him the Roysom Rock. <laughs> Corey Roysom. Love it. Objective look on everything. Sean Hayes, acquisitions guy, helps us with the leads management, and he helps me with the coaching. He's the funniest guy you'll yeah, ever meet. Well, awesome. Pleasure to be here. And, 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 he, he, and he's Puerto Rican, can't you tell? <laughs> Puerto Rican, half Puerto Rican. <laughs> okay. And yeah, he, he knows what he's doing. So I love him because he just works super hard and mm-hmm. he just loves everybody. He, and yeah. he's a super, I'll tell one thing real quick about him. He was going to come work with me door to door sales like six years ago when I was doing door to door. Yeah. And he, he didn't come because someone came up. But I said, oh man, dude, I, I paid for your ticket to come out here already he's like i'll pay you back and he paid me back most people don't wow. pay you back so i said i gotta hire him Some high character there yeah so he paid me back and Please that's why i hired him. him i said hey, this guy he's legit awesome. i forgot and, about that story thank you yeah man you're the man and then we got my boy eric goodell man this guy's a workhorse and you know nobody the buyers he, he works with the buyers in dispo okay nobody can shake him if they're like trying to like negotiate a deal with him <laughs> He stays strong. He closes it. He's not as nice, right? Like he, <laughs> he just says it how it is, and you know, if they don't like it, he'll find Too another bad. buyer. Yeah, love so. that. So you say, this is our number. We're gonna make thirty thousand dollars. If you don't like that, then we got other buyers. That's Tell awesome. me right now. Ideally. Yeah. Right. That's awesome. It depends if there's only one buyer <laughs> so that wants it. That's the only buyer. Doesn't yeah. matter. He doesn't know. Yeah. But yeah, this is a team and couldn't do it without them. And I think that's something people need to know is if you want to scale your business, you ain't, you know, you're not going to scale a wholesaling, flipping, fix like all that by yourself. You got to have a, a sick team. No, but it's you. not, it's not this massive operation, right? You're not like, oh, no, you know, yeah. this big building full of people. It's a small group of you guys and you're, and you're out there doing deals every single month. I mean, yeah. And we're having fun and you're having fun. We're having a great time. If you're not having fun, then what's the point, right? Yeah. I mean, the money wears out real fast. I mean, I could go work at Costco and, you know, just <laughs> not, you know, just not worry about anything, but it's yeah. fun to work, build something. That's what we're doing. So thanks for having, having the team, showing them some love out here. All right. Yeah, thanks for having Guys, me. leave a comment. These guys are flipping geniuses. Leave a comment and say, Nathan, you and your team, you guys are flipping geniuses. And if you want to reach out to the team, hit us yeah. up. I'm, I'm sure yep. you'll put a link in there. Yep, we'll put your YouTube channel and-, and uh, That'll be good, YouTube. And if you yep. comment or reach out to me through there, I got some links and you know we'll help you dispo. And I, I want to be just like you, Jerry. I want to give value to people. Yeah. I want to help people out, you know? So that that's my goal in the YouTube channel is just give value, help out as many people as I can. That's awesome. All right, thanks guys for joining us on this video. We'll see you on the next video. Later.